Hey everybody, welcome back to, or welcome to, Danica Marie and our dope discussions, okay? Today, I wanna come on here very briefly and answer one of the emails that I received from one of my brothers, okay? One of our Crown Head Nation brothers. And I'm going to keep him anonymous because he asked me to do that. And so I will respect that. However, I do feel like this will be a very teachable moment for us all. So we are gonna go ahead and read the email I'm not going to share my screen, but I do want to go ahead and read it, okay? So it says, Dear Danica, there is this girl at my workplace. I told her what my intentions were from day one. She started taking drives for me in the evening, and all of a sudden, she just stops. Should I ask her why she stopped traveling with me or just accept the situation for what it is and move on? I responded and I said, accept and move on. It seems like she is trying to distance herself and you don't want to come off as smothering or desperate, especially when and if you already let her know you were interested and she pulled away. He responds back and he says, well, can you explain why she would distance herself? Did I do something wrong or she could not play mind games with me because I let her know what my intentions were from the start. Was I ever in her friend zone? Should I unfriend her from Facebook? Should I say hello or reply hello if she calls me? I will tell you one thing. No more validation nor attention from me. Answering these questions above will help me ensure that. Like you said, I do not want to come off as being desperate. Okay. So let me go ahead and say this to my brother. And a lot of you guys out there may be dealing with a similar situation to where it's like, okay, you know, I was directly communicating what my intentions were with her. I put it out there. It seemed like everything was going smooth. And then all of a sudden she just kind of like ghosted me or she just all of a sudden pulled away. What's going on with that? Why would she do that? So on and so forth. And I want to be as um, nice about this as possible. I want to be as empathetic and sympathetic about this as possible. And I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way. But my answer to this is very simple. Who gives a F? I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all were expecting me to say, oh, well, you know, she did this because, you know, you were like this and, you know, this is what happened. Who cares? Who gives a damn why? Who gives a damn about if you were in a friend zone or not? Move on. All of this wondering and guessing is doing nothing but putting you in a chokehold. And let me be honest with you guys and say this, because it is it, it can be teachable in this, in this aspect and element. A lot of females can do this in an attempt to try to play a mind game on you, right? Let's say that she is trying to do that. Let's say that her intentions are to give you a lot, then pull away and ghost you so that you can, again, start to chase up behind her. This is how a lot of females try to get you in a vulnerable position to where again i can manipulate i can control i'm in the dominant position and i essentially have leverage because you're the one that's trying to figure me out you're the one trying to chase up behind me so you gotta you guys gotta be very careful with this this is why i'm saying don't even give a damn if anything that's gonna throw her for a loop because i'm gonna be honest a lot of females today, they try to play these type of tricks with you to get you, again, in a position to where, oh, I got to chase her. Oh, I got to figure her out. You don't do that. Don't, don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the trap. Okay? That could very well be what's going on here. She's ghosting you so she can try to follow, follow up behind her, see what went wrong, see what you can do better. Right? Because a lot of guys, when you um, start to try to seek her out, now I can really tell you the things that I would want you to do so that this won't happen again, 
right? So let's go here with the example. You're telling me that you really like me. And I'm going to give you a little bit. I'm going to open up with you and make you feel comfortable enough to where, you know, where you feel like we're kicking it. We're cool. We're good. Then all of a sudden, I'm going to pull away, right? And when I pull away, you're going to start to second guess yourself as a man. I know damn well you did nothing wrong. I know damn well you are a good catch the whole nine. But I need to have some kind of upper hand. I need to have some kind of leverage to where this is in my control. And the way that I can do that is, again, by ghosting you and pulling back. So when you come back to the table, asking these questions about, like, what, what happened? What went wrong? I thought we hit it off so well. What, what, what went wrong? Then I can come back and say, well, I would just like for you to do X, Y, and Z. And well, it could have been great, but I just need a man that can contribute or give me X, Y, and Z. And again, once I'm able to tell you what my expectations are, what my standards are, whatever the case is, you're going to go out of your way to then meet those standards or expectations, right? Because in your mind, it's like, okay, well, that's what I can do to get her back. That's what I can do to get back into her, her good graces, right? And if you're not careful, they'll keep playing that mind game with you to where it's like, okay, I'm going to pull back again so I can get more leverage, get more control, milk him more. I'm going to pull back and then I'm, I'm going to raise the standard. I'm going to raise the expectation. And then you're going to constantly have to figure out, well, what else do you need from me? What else do you need from me? It's a constant game. This is why when a female does this, back off, back away. Who gives a who gives a damn? I know y'all can really like these females or whatever the case is, but or, uh, just be real about this, you guys. This could really become a fucking distraction to you. We don't have time for that. If we are showing a woman that we're interested in her, it is her duty and responsibility to reciprocate and show that same interest back. The moment that she does not. That's out of your control, out of your element, out of your reach. It's, it's done. It's over. I don't give a damn what the reasoning was. I know I didn't do any wrong, anything wrong. I know I was a stand-up gentleman to you. I know that I was helping you out. I'll let you know what my expectations were, what my intentions were. This is on you, man. So at this point, I don't even give a damn what it was, right? But that could very well be a reason, okay? Now, in addition to that, you guys... Um, a woman could pull away because let's just say she may be intimidated, right? There's so many different things that can factor into this. A lot of women are not, um, used to a guy being upfront, being direct, letting us know exactly what it is and exactly what it's not. That can be very, very, uh, intimidating for us because again, like that's showing that you are a man that is trying to be in the dominant position you you're taking the reins by stating what your expectations are what your intentions are and in return that's going to inadvertently force me to try to meet those standards and expectations again that can be very intimidating because you are a man that knows exactly what he wants exactly what he needs and hell who's to say i'm going to be able to reach that standard or reach those expectations that you are setting so it could be all of that. Um, and again, a guy like that, you're showing that you're trying to establish a position of dominance because you're, you, you already know in your mind what you are looking for. Intimidation, that could be a factor. Mind games, that could be a factor. Or she could just genuinely not want you anymore. And you gotta be okay with that. You gotta be okay with just being like, okay, she just not, maybe she's not feeling me. You know, maybe it's another guy. But my whole thing is, although it could be all of these different factors and reasons behind why she goes to you and why she stopped taking rides with you or whatever the case is, I want you to know at the end of the day, don't give a damn about it. Who cares? It's out of your control at this point. Okay? It's out of your control. Let her come back to you. And if she doesn't, that's okay. Move on with life. I need y'all to get in the mindset of everybody's replaceable. Right. And I also need you guys to get in the habit of viewing rejection as blessings. Sometimes people walk away so that they can open up a new gate 
for somebody new that fits exactly what you're looking for, right? So all of that is important for you guys to take into account and take into consideration when these type of things, you know, rise up, they, they come to the forefront. You gotta be able to just take it on the chin, not beat yourself down too much, second guessing yourself and trying to ponder what can I do and where did I go wrong? Because again, you can get into that rut of that chase game. And again, that's a part of the female manipulation tactics to try to control you and dominate you and have leverage. And you never want to fall for that as a man. It, when it comes to relationships, you guys are supposed to be in that position of power. Now, does that mean that you're going to be abusive with that power? No. However, the man is the head. And so you never want to fall into a trap of having a woman have you chase it behind her and try to prove your value and prove yourself to her. Like that's her job, especially when you are showing, showing and proving that you are a stand up gentleman. You know, you've been nothing but helpful. You know, like at this point, that's on her, her loss at this point. We don't, we don't really give a damn about the wives. It is what it is. All right. And again, I said that really respectfully. I don't mean to be harsh or anything of that sort, but I got to be real with you. Right. If, if I'm going to be out here being real with these ladies, I got to be real with my brothers. So who gives a fuck? Let's, let's put it like that. We don't care about why she ghosted you or why she stopped talking to you or why she stopped um, taking rides from you. Who gives a damn? And, and let me say this. I wouldn't even give a damn enough to unfriend her on social media. You know, because when you do that, that's showing that you care and you're bothered. Like, nah, let her see. Let her see your 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 upgrades, right? Let her see your life. You want to be so unbothered to where I don't give a damn to unfriend her. I don't give a damn to check up behind her and see what's going on. I don't give like we we're unbothered, okay? We're nonchalant at best. So again, to answer your question, who cares? Who cares why? All you got to focus on now is yourself and continuing to evolve and grow and elevate. And whoever is for you will be for you. You will know it. You'll feel it because they, there will be reciprocation. All right. So with that being said, y'all, y'all like the video. Y'all share the video and y'all come on back for more dope discussions. Y'all let me know. Is your little bit sister helping you out? Are you going through something similar to where, you know, a female try to ghost you and play these mind games with you? Who knows? Y'all let us know. Let us know also how you handled that. Because again, there's so many brothers out there that may have gone through some similar situations to where they need guidance and they need to know, you know, how would a masculine man operate within this type of situation? Y'all help us all out. Okay. I gave y'all my feedback. Brothers, y'all chime in. Y'all let us know as well. But again, y'all, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Danique Marie, your little big sister is out. Peace.